Travis Kelsey responds to Aaron Rodgers' COVID-19 vaccine dig, Mr. Pfizer vs. the Johnson & Johnson family. Kelsey has partnered up with Pfizer in commercials promoting the COVID-19 and flu vaccines. New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers recently took a dig at Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey over his recent partnership with Pfizer in promoting the COVID-19 vaccine, but on Friday the two-time Super Bowl champion responded with his own dig. Kelsey, 33, was asked by reporters during a press conference ahead of Sunday's game against the Minnesota Vikings about Rogers' comments from earlier this week in which he indirectly called Kelsey Mr. Pfizer. I thought it was pretty good, Kelsey said with a laugh. I mean, with the stats right now I look like a guy named Mr. Pfizer. Who knew I'd get into the vax wars with Aaron Rodgers, man. Mr. Pfizer versus the Johnson and Johnson family over there, Kelsey quipped in reference to Jets owner Woody Johnson, an heir of the Johnson & Johnson Company. Rogers made the remark during his weekly appearance on The Pat McAfee Show after the Jets' 23-20 loss to the Chiefs. There's some sort of moral victory out there that we hung with the champs and that our defense played well, Rogers said. Chiefs quarterback, Pat, Mahomes, didn't have a crazy game, and Mr. Pfizer, we shut him down. He didn't have a crazy impact game. Obviously, he had some yards and stuff, but I felt like, for the most part, we played really tough on defense and played well the last three quarters. Kelsey has been featured in commercials for the pharmaceutical giant promoting both its COVID-19 and flu vaccines. When asked about the partnership, Kelsey doubled down on his belief in the vaccine. Once I got the vaccine, I got it because of keeping myself safe, keeping my family safe, the people in this building. So yeah, I stand by it 1000%. Fully comfortable with him calling me Mr. Pfizer, he said. Rogers has been outspoken about his opposition to the vaccine throughout the pandemic and afterward. In 2021, he was sidelined due to a fractured toe, which many speculated was COVID toe, a side effect that he famously debunked when he showed his bare foot to reporters during a press conference.